Use the move tool to shift the layer and reposition it and use blending modes such as difference via the layers panel. How to create an image such as this in Affinity Photo in under three minutes. You need a layer. You always need a layer, so layer and new layer. Go for the elliptical marquee tool. Make certain the fed is about 150 and hold down the shift to create a circular selection. Then go to the gradient tool and apply a default gradient. That'll be white to black and linear. But I want it to be radial, so I'm just gonna go up here and set it to radial. And you can apply it again if you wish. I want that nice spherical gradient. Now I want this selection as a brush. Select and deselect. Then go to the brushes panel. You can find that in the window menu. Go to the right side menu, click there, and new brush from selection. So that selection will be saved as a brush. Now by default, obviously it's 817. Now I don't want it that size. Document's not that big. So I'm just gonna remove that now. Double click, and now go to general, and set it down to maybe about 300, 340. Depends on the size of your document. If you've got a 5,000 by 5,000 document, obviously set it bigger. Then go to dynamics, the size jitter. I'm gonna go with 100%. But as I'm using the mouse, I'm gonna go with random. Set the scatter X, scatter Y, and again, random. Down here, luminosity, just set that. Obviously the others, because they're gray, it doesn't make any difference, so just change that. 100%, maybe not 100%, maybe about 70%. Click close, and then apply, using the paintbrush tool. So, paintbrush tool, tools panel, and apply. And you can fill the entire screen, entire image with these spheres and you can create all kinds of bubbled looking designs very quickly and of course you can always vary the size just go here maybe make it 170 now and apply it again i want to deform this i don't want to keep it as this so i'm just going to go to filters distort and deform you could use other ones 12 pretty good as well displace pretty useful but deform go with similarity and I want the pins to be in the center, but I also don't want to avoid, I want to avoid sort of pulling in too much the layer. So let's just apply a few here and then drag. Now you'll notice sometimes it's actually quite hard to select the pins. I don't want that to be there, so I want it to be sort of out as well as in. Just want that central bit. And again, just push that out a bit. So you've got a fairly large layer, but it's nicely squeezed in the center. And of course, you can select some other parts like that and drag that out again. Something like that. Click apply, which is fine. I think that's a really lovely distorted design, but I want to also apply a lighting effect. Now, I'm not too happy with the lighting effect in Affinity Photo. It's okay, but I wish it could be better. It's one of those ones you think, oh, why couldn't they have improved it? Just again, sometimes it's very hard to select. And often I find select the move tool then go to the filters and lighting. Don't know why, it just doesn't seem to actually want to let you select it otherwise. Very odd. You can change settings such as texture. Just gonna increase texture. And this is one of the problems I have with this. You can see, you get these weird sort of, why couldn't there be a bit more smoothing? I don't know why, it's just, please put in the comments if you know of any way of making this slightly smoother, this selection. Anyway, what you can also do is you can change the color. So click there, and I'm gonna go with maybe gold. Go with, you can vary, blue, green, etc. And also you can change, of course, ambient and other settings. You could click apply at this point, but I'm gonna add two lights. So I'm just gonna go here to add. And with that, I can then reposition this different direction and change the color again. I'm not gonna go with white, perfectly reasonable though. Click there and go with, say, blue. And you can create all kinds of beautiful designs, blue, gold, combinations and click apply. So with this design, what you can now do is you can also can go apply deform again, but also you can apply blur effects, but to a layer, a new layer. So I'm just gonna to go to layer and duplicate and the background layer, I'm gonna blur. Filters, blur and Gaussian blur. And I'm just gonna make it to about 72, 100, you can make whatever you want, click apply. Now I can just blend it. So select the top layer again, then go to opacity and go down to difference. And you can see you can create some very nice colorful designs just using this approach. Now you might want to zoom out a bit. So just go to zoom and just change that. So you can just see the layers, how it is. Also you might want to resize this a bit, make it maybe slightly bigger than the underlying document. And then you can reposition it. 
move it around. And as you do that, you can see different colours coming into it. And of course, you don't have to use difference. I just happen to like difference. But you can try other ones and you can create all kinds of colourful, something like that, screen, instead of using difference. To create some very abstract designs. And then layer, and you can flatten it. So merge visible. So it all becomes one pixel layer. And of course, you can then distort that and apply lighting, etc., to that as well. 